Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Elegoo Mars 4, the latest release of Elegoo's popular resin printer lineup. The Mars series has been known for providing affordable, high-quality 3D printing experiences, and the Mars 4 is no exception. It packs a punch with its features, print quality, and price point. But how does it hold up in today's competitive market? In this review, we're going to go over everything you need to know about the Elegoo Mars 4, from the design to performance and whether it's worth the investment. Also, the link to this 3D printer will be included in the video description below. Now, let's start with the design and build quality. The Elego Mars 4 sticks to a similar design language seen in previous Mars printers with a compact, robust frame that's both sleek and durable. The printer is built around a monochrome LCD screen, which allows for faster curing times and better durability over time. This is one of the main updates compared to the older models and it's a big win. The overall build quality feels solid, the resin vat is easy to remove, and there is a clear touchscreen interface at the front, which is intuitive and easy to navigate. The build plate has a nice textured surface to ensure good adhesion, and it locks into place with a secure quick-release mechanism. One of the standard design features is the elevated frame, which ensures that the resin drips down cleanly without any mess. The metal construction of the frame feels sturdy and the printer doesn't feel flimsy even when moving it around or setting it up. Overall, the design is minimalist yet functional. It's easy to see that this printer was made with user experience in mind. Moving on to the setup and installation, the Elego Mars 4 comes fully assembled, which is always a great convenience for beginners. There's no need to worry about putting together a complicated kit. The installation process involves minimal steps, such as leveling the build plate and adding resin. Leveling the build plate is pretty straightforward and the Mars 4 features a one-click leveling process. This is fantastic for people new to resin printing because it simplifies an often tricky task. Just follow the on-screen instructions and you'll be good to go. Once the build plate is leveled, simply pour your resin into the resin vat, load your sliced model onto the printer via USB or Wi-Fi and you are ready to go. It really is that simple. Once you got the first print going, you'll notice how intuitive the touchscreen interface is. Everything from starting a print to checking the print's progress is clear and easy to control. Now let's talk about the most important aspect, the print quality. This is where the Elego Mars 4 really shines. Thanks to the monochrome LCD screen, this printer is capable of producing high detailed prints with faster curing times. The print resolution on the Mars 4 is an impressive 3840 by 2400 and the details are sharp and clear. I ran several test prints with different models from small miniatures to larger functional objects and the results were excellent. The layer lines are incredibly fine and the surface finish is smooth with very little visible texture. There's almost no noticeable pixelation that you can sometimes see on lower quality resin printers. One of the highlights of the Mars 4 is the accuracy. I printed detailed miniatures and they came out with exceptional precision, especially when it comes to small details like facial features and small props. Even at smaller layer heights, the prints came out clean with very little post-processing needed. The first layer adhesion was also consistent across all my test prints and I had no issues with prints coming loose from the build plate. The printing speed on the Mars 4 is also solid. Thanks to the monochrome screen, the printer can expose layers more quickly, which speeds up the entire printing process. The layer curing time is around 2 to 4 seconds per layer, which is noticeably faster compared to older color LCD screens that require 6 to 8 seconds per layer. The resin I used for testing was Elegoo's own brand and the prints adhered well to the plate with no visible issues like warping or bubbling. I did notice some minimal smearing on a few prints but it's very minor and doesn't detract from the overall quality. Overall, the print quality on the Elego Mars 4 is impressive and you'll be able to achieve professional great results with very little effort. By the way, prices on this 3D printer update almost weekly with sales and other general price jobs, so if you want to find the most updated information, simply check out the video description and you'll find the latest prices. And of course, if you find this video helpful, please like this video 
and subscribe to my channel. Now let's take a look at the features and extras that make the Elegoo Mars 4 stand out. As we have already touched on, the monochrome LCD is a big feature, enabling faster printing speeds and longer screen lifespan. This is a major upgrade over previous models in the Mars series, and it's something you'll appreciate if you plan on printing a lot. Another standout feature is the touchscreen interface. It's responsive and easy to use with large clear icons and a clean layout. It's simple to start a print, pause it, or check the printer status from the screen, which is ideal for those who are new to resin printing. The build volume of the Mars 4 is 218 by 123 by 235 millimeters, which is pretty generous for a resin printer in this price range. You'll be able to print larger models and multiple smaller ones at once without feeling too cramped for space. A key feature of the Elego Mars 4 is the filtration system. It comes with a built-in air filtration system that helps minimize the smell of resin during printing, which is a nice touch. Resin printers can be pretty smelly, so this feature helps keep your workspace more comfortable, especially if you're printing indoors. Additionally, the Mars 4 supports Wi-Fi connectivity and can be controlled remotely. This means you can upload models, start prints, or monitor progress without needing to physically interact with the printer. This is a great option for those who want to control their printer from another room. Now let's talk about the software. The Elego Mars 4 is compatible with Box, which is one of the most popular slicing software options for resin printers. It's a pretty straightforward process, simply slice your model, adjust settings like layer height and exposure time, and you are ready to export the G code. Cheetah Box also has a great user interface and it's relatively easy to get started with even if you are new to resin printing. There are preset profiles for various resin types and the software has a support generation tool that helps make sure your prints are stable and don't have overhangs that will cause issues. The Mars 4 also works with third-party resins, so you are not limited to using Elegoose brands. That gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to finding resin that works best for your projects. One of the great things about G2 Box is the fine-tuned control of your prints. You can easily adjust settings for layer height, exposure time, and lift speed, which is useful if you are printing highly detailed objects that need more precision. Now let's talk about the price and whether it's worth it. The Elegoo Mars 4 is priced at around $250 to $300, which is an excellent value considering the features and print quality it offers. In this price range, you are getting a monochrome LCD screen, faster curing times, and excellent print resolution. When you compare it to the other resin printers in this price range, the Mars 4 offers a lot of bang for your buck. If you're looking for a resin printer that offers great quality, fast print speeds, and easy setup, the Elego Mars 4 is one of the top contenders at this price point. Whether you are a beginner or intermediate user, the printer offers outstanding value. So guys, let me know in the comments, are you planning to pick up this 3D printer? That's it for this video, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if this video was helpful and make sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on this 3D printer. See you in the next one!